Terra Luna Classic holders, happy Saturday and happy weekend. So is the price of LUNC going to move anything this weekend? What are we expecting before and after the Binance burns right now about 48 hours? Because a lot of people are expecting what? A breakout, a pump. But are we there yet? Well, that's what I want to discuss by the end of this video. We're seeing some AMAs with CC, you know, people from the community trying to tell, hey, buddy, can you do something else? He obviously wants even other exchanges to do so based on what the community we're seeing online. And at the end of the day, it does seem that we're not getting any response from KuCoin. Coinbase have been trying to do the best we can there. And I like the passion from the community really heading up to speed for what we want to be, you know, the next breakout, big percentage-wise breakout. So let's go ahead to the charts and analyze. Go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on those notification bells. So far... What I'm seeing overall with LUNC is that, well, I mean, we have reached this price consolidation. Now, let me show you in the charts, guys. I'm going to bring my rectangle, and it's clear for me to see, now you're seeing it with me too, that after the big event on September, first week of September, right? Right about here, when we had our, those beautiful pumps, we're coming down, we're retracing back up on the tent dump, then coming down as we were expecting the Binance burns, and now finally we're here. Good. That's because Binance had two, the announcement and the actual burns. What I'm going to tell you and how I can summarize is consolidation, sideways trading. If LUNC, if you're looking for an analysis, right, of what's to happen in the future, the best thing I can tell you right now with the data I see and looking at the RSI, you're seeing it right here at the bottom. You're also opening my Bollinger Bands as well, is that the price is finally getting into this very compact consolidated position. That indicates one, two things. One, we can break out down or up at any time, just depends what the market makers and the Binance, uh, sorry, and the LUNC whales decide. Or two, this is going to continue like this and probably slowly head down a little bit as volume decreases and as people kind of just move on to something else. So that's what I'm expecting with the movements this weekend. And, you know, kind of like expecting till we get the Binance burns. Once we get the Binance burns and assuming there's nothing else but just that waiting for us, I'm expecting something like this where we are seeing a pump. Now, here's the deal. If we're gonna have a, it seems like we're gonna have a less of 5.5 billion burn just because there's just less days to burn, right? That's plain and simple. That said, are we gonna see two, three, four? The more the better. And it will be a great key performance indicator for the entire community because, in my opinion, if we see a nice like a nice increase in, in Binance burns, but the price does not move, that will tell me one thing, that the community is just not buying it right now. And the more we burn, not necessarily the price is going to continue pumping. That puts a little bit of a, of at risk this whole operation of, man, we wanted to see LUNC pump. That could be a possibility, it's plain and simple. What I think is going to happen, because, I mean, I think we have a history of doing that, is right about here, October 10 or so, so just a couple of days from now, right? I mean, it's pretty cool. If we are reach, I'm going to bring my, there you go, 3033, we're right now 3026, let me see, 3028, <laughs> I don't even see very well, 3036, that will be 15%, so from right now till that date, just plain and simple. And I mean, we can even go this way down a little bit. But rising all the way to 15%, three zeros, three, three, that'll be, in my opinion, nothing bad at all. Conservatively speaking, because I don't think just by looking at previous performance that we're going to have such a 70 something percentage gain because these were the news that Binance was going to help out. But this is the actual burn, right? And as you can tell, what happens is we pump in about a day or so. It's just so fast. And it takes us, what, an entire week to go back to that level, right? 
So nothing consistent, which is sad, but true. That is what it is. I'm expecting that. I think in a you know, more bullish case scenario, we could even reach that 30% delicious range at 3036. So a little bit more that will be for this upcoming week. That is a price prediction, what I'm looking at, right? Absolutely not one cent, absolutely not a dollar at this time. One of the reasons why is because the burns, everybody. Um, realistically speaking, we're still at 0.2%, right? 0.2%. It is very low, and we're doing a good job by putting more than 600 million burn per day. That is great, and I love that. It is not enough, though. But with more burns coming in, I mean, I'm bullish that we're going to do something much, much better. And I think what I've learned in this week, besides, you know, all the volatility in the market and sadly, but through the macro events that are just not letting us go. I don't know if you heard, but uh, Russia really warning the world uh, that they have nuclear power and other wars out there. Of course, in October, we're going to have a CPI data. We're going to also have other different values about inflation that does affect the market and equities and Nasdaq does, Bitcoin does, and overall the cryptocurrency affects everything and outcomes either perish or pump. So what's happening out there in the world does affect the price. I'm not expecting to go 305 or anything like that in and after this news, but it should be a catalyst. There should be a catalyst that just moves the price up and we don't have it, it looks like October can be a chill month. Nothing compared to September, as you can tell, right? Because if I'm going to go ahead and zoom out, it's, I probably could be too early to tell. But this, my friends, uh, starts here, starts about here. This all is September. So obviously, so much energy, so much talk and conversations, and happy faces, and sad faces, and angry faces in the month of September. The month of October, it's been just this, just this so far. So it's still early, but you can tell where we're probably heading just by looking at the two different behaviors of the pump. And I'm, in my opinion, that's I think a good analysis for us to analyze, right? Cleaning everything up, it looks like this. I'm going to take out the Bollinger Bands. This is what it looks in the one day, just to finally see it. There it is. So what do I see here? I see that after this major pump, it will be a challenge to reach it once up again. But as always, bull market in a couple of years down the road or so does help to reach those levels up. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope this makes sense to you. And I'm just trying to educate you and to tell you what I'm expecting for the Binance Burns and this weekend. It does look okay. I mean, we're still holding pretty strong that level. Let's keep on going. I'll see you next time, everybody. Peace.